How's it going boys? Gianni Superb Man here and it's time for another NHL 18 shootout commentary. And today I want to talk about the blockbuster three-way trade that went down last night between the Colorado Avalanche, the Nashville Predators, and the Ottawa Senators. So here's how the trade works out. The Ottawa Senators get their hands on Matt Duchesne, upgrading their center position. The Nashville Predators get their hands on Kyle Turris, really upgrading their center position. And the Colorado Avalanche, here's a mouthful, they get their hands on Vladislav Kemenev, uh, Samuel Girard, a second round pick from Nashville, Shane Bowers, Andrew Hammond, and a first and third round pick from the Ottawa Senators. My goodness, talk about a blockbuster deal. So let's go through this trade for each team to see who got the better end of the deal. First up, the Colorado Avalanche. And I don't know if this is a good day or a bad day to be an Avs fan. I'm sure a lot of you had high hopes when you drafted Matt Duchesne back in 2009 at third overall. But less than 10 years later, it looks like you guys are headed for another rebuild. Now, Joe Sackick was very patient while trying to trade away Matt Duchesne. Trade rumors have been going on since last, ye uh, last year, but Joe finally got the value he wanted and pulled the trigger. For Matt Duchesne, the Abs received two former second-round picks, Kemenev and Girard, a former first-round pick, Bowers, and a first, second, and third-round selection in the upcoming NHL entry draft. And on top of that, a goaltender that might make Varlamov expendable. More trades incoming, maybe? Now, for those of you saying that the Avs got fleeced, you know... The Avs were never going to get a stud player or a stud prospect or a top draft pick for Matt Duchesne with only two years left before he becomes a free agent. However, the Senators are a team that could miss the playoffs, and now the Avalanche control the Senators' first round pick. Now, I say could miss the playoffs. Currently, the Senators' record is 6-3-5 and, and are expected to be a playoff team, especially with the upgrade to Matt Duchesne. But an injury to the wrong player, and this draft pick may become a lottery pick. So, I think it's a great trade for the Avalanche. They can finally move on from Matt Duchesne. They receive seven pieces to help the rebuild and they have a slight chance at another lottery draft pick along with their own. Next up, we got the Ottawa Senators and this trade scares me if I'm a Senator fan. First, let's talk about Kyle Turris not working out in Ottawa. You know, this was a shock to me that Ottawa didn't want to lock this man up to a long-term deal. Turris has been a core piece in Ottawa for seven years now. He's a bona fide 25-goal, 60-point man, and is only 28 years of age. However, the talk was that Turris wanted big money long-term, and Ottawa was just unwilling to give that much to Kyle. So they sent him, to, uh, sent him to the West and upgraded to Matt Duchesne. Sounds good, right? Well, hold on. The Predators already managed to sign Turris to a six-year, $6 million per season contract. Now, were the Senators just unwilling to give uh, Kyle Turris this kind of money? That seems to work for him, man. 25 goal scorer, $6 million per season? Or did he take a pay cut to play six more years in Nashville, knowing that they're a cup contender? Either way, the Senators are taking a big gamble here. Here, okay, if the Senators make the playoffs and sign Matt Duchesne to an extension, then yeah, that's great. It's a great freaking trade. But if they miss the playoffs this season and Duchesne leaves after next year, then it has the makings to be the worst trade in franchise history. And last but not least, the Nashville Predators, who in my opinion, came out looking the best after this trade. The Preds gave up basically nothing to acquire and sign Kyle Turris and now look like a real cup contender with Johansson, Turris, and Benino when he gets back from injury down the middle. It may not be the Crosby-Malkin combination at center, but it's a big upgrade from last year's finals. If we go back to the cup finals and add a healthy Johansson and now Kyle Turris to a team that already has Subban, Yossi, Ellis, Ekholm, Rene, and Forsberg. Do the Pens still win the Stanley Cup? I'll let you guys speculate about that. So if I'm to, if I'm to decide which teams got the better end of the deal, uh, I'm going to go first the Nashville Predators to get Kyle Turris signed six more years and to basically give up nothing. A part of your roster that got you to the Stanley Cup Finals last year, that's a great deal. Second, the Colorado Avalanche. Um, I'm glad they finally just moved on from Matt Duchesne. You don't want to go down the Corey Schneider, Roberto Luongo route from the Vancouver Cooper Canucks just trade them away and see what you can do in the future and they got seven pieces like I said to help the rebuild and third the Ottawa Senators however the Ottawa Senators can greatly improve their uh their value of this trade I'll say if they make the playoffs this season so their first round pick to, uh, to Colorado doesn't become a lottery and if they can extend Matt Duchesne to uh, play there in the future then it's a great trade for the Ottawa Senators so what do you guys think of the blockbuster trade let me know and I will see you guys next time 
Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. You can also swing by our website, which has forums and a live chat. That along with Twitter allows us to play with our subscribers in our GTA lobbies or the 24-7 open Minecraft server, where you can build with others or play in one of the many, many games across Superbia. Our Patreon account helps us support our website and the Minecraft server, and we also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of sh I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my god, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to god, baseball god just decided to all over me. Grand slam. Oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning. 